वेलकम इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द पार्ट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट लाइट रेस आफ्टर रिफ्रैक्शन बै देंसस् कांक्यव लेंस एज वेल एस कॉन्वेक्स लेंसस् हौ इट हौ दट ए इंसिडेंट लाइट रे गेट रिफ्रैक्टेड एंड इन विच डैरे इट ईज मूव वाट इज द पाथ आफ रिफ्रैक्ट लाइट रे लेट अस् ड्रा सिंपली so here in case of convex lens and as well as i am taking concave lens so this now i am going to draw a light ray its path in which direction it get refracted in which direction it moves after refraction so any light ray you can draw so here i am taking a light ray this is the light ray then in which direction the refracted light ray moves what is the path so here we know that just prolong here the point of incident on the lens by this of this light ray this is the point where the light ray is incidenting now in which direction it moves so for that to know that first we have to draw a light ray parallel to this incident light ray and passing from the optical center so whenever a light ray is given to know its path after refraction first we have to draw a light ray parallel to the incident light ray and that should be passed from the optical center so here parallel light ray i am drawing which is passing from optical center so this is the light ray we know that the light ray which is passing from the optical center there is no deviation now in previous videos we have discussed about focal plane focal plane is a normal line to the principal axis and which is passing from the focal point so here i am drawing a focal plane this is the focal plane it is a normal line it is passing from the focal point or focus now just to combine the point where the incident light ray intersecting the lens and the point where the light ray which is passing from the optical center intersecting the focal plane combine these two points and draw a line so this is the path of the refracted light ray for this incident light ray okay so this is the path of the refracted light ray of this incident light ray similarly let us take same light ray in case of in case of concave lens same light ray i am taking the incident light ray now it is incidenting on the concave lens and we know that we have to first we have to draw that light ray parallel to the incident light ray but it should pass from the optical center the light ray which is passing from optical center there is no deviation then here we know that the concave lens diverges light rays so we have to draw the focal plane in the in the same side of incident light ray in case of the concave lens the focal plane always drawn same side of incident light ray because this concave lens always diverges light rays and here in case of convex lens always the focal plane should be taken the side of the refracted side where the incident light rays is refracted the refracted light rays are moving at that side we have to draw that focal plane in case of convex lens 
because on focal plane the refracted light rays converges but here the concave lens diverge light rays these diverge light rays appears to be coming from focal plane in previous video we have discussed that so here i am drawing a focal plane once again the focal plane is a line which is passing from the focal point and is normal to the principal axis so here the light ray which is passing from optical center intersecting focal plane at this point now this point and the point where the incident light ray intersecting the lens just to combine these two light rays and to draw that straightly prolong this line this is the path of refracted light ray by the concave lens and one more example one more example i am going to give for you you can draw any light ray if you know about focal plane and if you draw a parallel light rays from that which is passing from optical center this is focal point center of curvature focal point center of curvature so whatever the light ray you can take so just i'm uh, this is the incident light ray i want to know what is the path of this incident light ray it is very simple first we have to draw a parallel light ray which is passing from the optical center for this instant light ray is there any deviation no deviation it passes straightly then draw a focal plane at refracted side because this lens is convex lens so here the light ray which is passing from optical center intersecting this focal plane now the point where the incident light ray intersecting the lens and the point where the light ray which is passing from optical center intersecting the focal plane just to combine these two points and prolong this line line then this is the path of this instant refracted light ray path of this instant light ray okay similarly in case of concave lens here optical center focal point center of curvature focal point center of curvature same light ray i am taking so just observe what is the difference between drawing the ray diagrams of convex lens as well as concave lens so here similarly i am drawing a parallel light ray to the instant light ray which is passing from the optical center is there any deviation no deviation takes place it passes straightly without deviation now as it is diverging lens then we have to draw focal plane at incident side in case of concave lens so here this light ray the light ray which is passing from optical center intersecting the focal plane at this point and this point and second point the incident light ray original given incident light ray where intersecting the lens concave lens so these two points are combined straightly then prolong the line so this is the refracted path of refracted path of that incident ray, light ray this is about the refracted paths of refracted light rays by the convex lens as well as concave lens you can draw the path refracted paths for any incident light rays if you know the focal plane and the light ray which is passing from the optical center so just practice more light rays you will get more idea this is about that class thank you